In today's video, I want to chat to you guys about the free and easy payroll package that you can use for your business. Good day, my name is Heinrich Gouvier. I'm the owner of SA Accounting Network and I've been in the accounting industry since about 2008. And probably since 2008, we've been using this payroll package, which is called Vanilla Payroll. And they have uh, this really nice offer where you can use the package for free for a period of three months, after which you have to pay obviously a minimal fee to pay to use the payroll package. So this is what I want to discuss today quickly. So I think just a, a quick overview of what I want to do is I want to give you guys an overview of the series that I'm going to be doing. Then I'm going to discuss with you guys 10 things that I really like about this accounting package. And then after that, I want to give you guys a quick demonstration of the video. So just a quick series overview. The first video is obviously the one that you guys are busy looking at at the moment, where I'm just going to talk briefly about the things I like about the package and give you guys a brief overview. The next thing after that is, um, is the next video is the about the download the installation of the package, package itself. The next video is about the, how to set up a company, then after that how to let, add an employee to the package. The video after that is going to be do, talking about payslips, is how to process payslips, and then the last one is going to be about month end and year end procedures on the payroll. So obviously you'll find the description or inside the link of the video, you'll find the link to the other videos as well, that you guys are welcome to give a look. But let's maybe jump in first thing, the 10 things that I like about <clears throat> vanilla payroll. So the first thing is obviously the reason why guys are watching the movie as well is you're looking for a free and easy payroll package to use and they give us the free use of the package for a period of three months for free which I think is really really nice that you can see whether you like it or even if you just have a small business and you urgently do need to do one or two payslips then it's also a nice option just to use vanilla payroll for that purpose but you'll see once you get used to the program and once you start working on it you will definitely want to continue with that as well. The second thing that I really love about the package is just the setup process. It's probably one of the easier packages that you can use in terms of setup. But no, it's not a cloud accounting package. It's one that you have to download and install on your computer. But the process is really simple. It's just a matter of clicking one or two buttons and then you've got the whole thing set up. The next thing which I'm going to demonstrate to you guys as well is just the ease of use. So just the flow of how the program works and how you can find the different information. Everything is sorted according to tabs and that is what I'm going to show you to, to, to you guys as well. The next thing that, that, that I really like about the package is that it's really easy to edit data. So if you load a payslip and you realize, oh dear, I made a mistake with the payslip, it's really e easy to either just to go edit the payslip and fix up the mistake that you made, or they've got the option to roll back payslips and just reload it again if you made a mistake in a payslip. So I think that is really, really cool. I think the next thing that is really nice is the easy year ends. So a lot of packages, there's a lot of things that you have to do and do setups of codes and stuff when it comes to the year end processing, when it comes to doing RP5s and stuff like that. So I think that is definitely one of the big easy things of vanilla payroll. So the year ends, you can't get it easier than what they've made it. They can even assist you with, a, with certain things like doing your RP5s and stuff for you, the submissions of the receiver of revenue. I think the year ends, yeah, that's one thing. The next thing is backups. I think that's also a really nice feature of the program is that the process of how to do backups is really easy. And I'm going to demonstrate that to you guys just now when we walk through the program. Then I'll share how easy it is actually to make backups of it. And I think the next thing that I think is really, really cool is just the way that the payslips look. You know, it's always nice to have a decent looking payslip that they can give to your, to, to your employees. And because quite often a lot of guys try and fiddle around in Excel and templates and stuff. But if you take that thing to the bank, they're going to say, listen, dude, you're taking chances. You made this payslip yourself. So that is a big advantage about vanilla payroll is that their payslips looks really good. I think the next thing is, which is really important, the eighth thing is the UIF and workman compensation integrations. So once you load all your payslips and stuff on the payroll package itself, it's just as easy to get the data from there that you can use for UIF returns and workman compensation returns. So I think that is really, really cool. And the next thing, uh, which I think is a, one of the biggest, is that the support is really good. I think what I really love about Vanilla Payroll, they're a small company. It's not like a big, huge company that they battle to get support calls a lot and people to phone you back and stuff. If you do decide to go with them, it's a matter of picking up the phone. They've got a small team of really good, well-trained um, support personnel. Speak to the guy, they jump into any desk or something like that, sort out your problem and you can continue. So I think the support 
we've never had over the past since 2008 had any problems when, when it comes to support. And I think the last thing that I really like about Vanilla Payroll is that they, they do regular updates as well. So as soon as anything changes in terms of tax legislation or anything with work on compensation, you are if as soon as anything changes, then they obviously send out updates as well. So you can always make sure that the, 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 the payroll package that you're using for your program, that it is current and up to date. So I think those are the 10 big things that I really like about Vanilla Payroll, but I want to invite you guys to go check it out yourself, use the program, let us know what you think about it as well. And then I think without me chatting any further to you on the camera, let me jump down to my computer, then I can give you guys a quick overview so you can see for yourself what the program actually looks like, and then you can decide whether you want to go through the process of downloading it and installing it on your computer. So let me shoot down to my computer, then I'll show you quickly. Great, <clears throat> so, so Vanilla Payroll, so once you've got the program downloaded on your computer, you can have an icon on your desktop which is going to say Vanilla Payroll. Once you open up the program, it's going to look like this. And then you can see over here, you've got some options just straight from the bat. You can see you've got the open option where you can obviously open up your payroll file, backup and restore. So that is the backup function that I said I was talking about. The super easy. Press backup is going to ask you where you want to save your backup. Save it there. If for some reason your computer gets destroyed and you want to restore it, you're going to hit restore and then just restore that file back onto your computer as well. But let me open it quickly so you can see. So once you hit the open button, we'll give you the list of all the different companies. I've obviously recorded all the stuff that I wanted to show you guys of how to do the setup and stuff. So I'm just going to use my demo company, SA County Network. So this is what it will look like once you log into the screen over here. So you can see you'll be welcome with the screen that says employees. And if you've got a lot of employees, they will be listed underneath over here. So you can see whoever it is that you want to do payrolls for. <clears throat> you can see uh, with that employee itself. Um, let me just quickly just run back to the top of here. I just wanted to show you guys something else. So at the top of here, you've got a lot of different options to add employees, edit employees, delete employees, terminate, transfer, do batch runs, batch pay slips. The reports is really important when it comes to yen, so that's where you're going to find all the UIF and workman compensation, pays you earn, IP5 recons, all that stuff is under that button over there. There's a button that says EIP5, so if you work with Easy File, you can export the data from here and import it into Easy File. There's your UIF stuff, and there's a button that says Upgrade Package. So, you can see, so if I just run back to the employee, you can see obviously I've listed myself over there. So there's all my personal information and for every one of these you'll see that there's different tabs where you can put your employee information continued, the residential addresses, posted addresses, contact information on the Facebook profile at the bottom of here. I've got my payment information, my banking stuff, my work hours, my tax information, any notes that I want to make on that employee. Then you can see on your Pacer profile of here, you can add your salaries. If you've got different types of deductions like retirement annuities and stuff, you will load it over there. So here at the bottom, you've got an income profile, a deduction profile. If there's loans, you can talk, keep track of bonuses, company contributions. Once again, notes. If you work with employment tax incentives, you will find some information over there. And even over time is the next step. So you can see over there you will load your annual leave, you can see you've got sick leave, you can keep track of your unpaid leave, other leave, public holidays and overtime. The next step that you find at the top of there is your pay slips. So this is the place where you're going to be adding the pay slips, editing pay slips. So let me just quickly show it to you. So if let's say for instance I work this pay slip over here, I did add it just now, but if I decide that I want to add something else, so if I want to say that I want to add an annual payment, then this is the place where I would do it. Then I would say that the annual payment is 5,000 Rand, and then, uh, well, let's call it 50,000 Rand, why not? And then we hit save, and then you can see that's all the calculations for you. Then if you hit print and save, then you can see what the actual payslip itself, uh, there's the button print payslip, then you can see what the actual payslip would look like that the payroll package produces. And then after that, you can see that I've got your year-to-day totals. <clears throat> so I think this is in a nutshell quickly how the, what it looks like. Obviously, in the videos that I recorded, I've given you guys a lot more in detail of how to set it up and how to load the companies and how to load the employees and where to find all your reports. So I think, yeah, this is the purpose of this video is obviously just to give you guys a brief overview of what, what Vanilla Payroll looks like. Yes, so there we go. So I've dealt with you guys the series that I was talking about, the things, 10 things that I really like about Vanilla Payroll. And then the last thing is just a quick review so you guys can see what it actually looks like before you guys start downloading and installing Vanilla Payroll. Once again, just remember to keep the video a like and subscribe to my channel and keep your eyes out for the next video. See you in the next one.